As a weak spirit from the realm of the dead, I, William Hirons, the ghost of the lipstick killer, begin to share my story. I was born on November 15, 1928, a time when the world was in the dark night of economic crisis. In 1946, when I was just 17 years old, I fell into the grip of the law, accused of committing three horrific murders in Chicago. Memories of Josephine Ross, Frances Brown, and little Suzanne Degnan continuously torment me. The painful images of how I deceived and murdered them still hurt as if they were fresh. The intelligence, the skills of evasion, I used to evade the power of law, now only remain as a dark nightmare. Josephine Ross, with Josephine, a 43-year-old woman, I approached by taking advantage of her vulnerability. I infiltrated her apartment in the darkness and used the element of surprise to kill her. I stabbed her multiple times with a knife, an action that I deemed necessary to ensure she could not resist. I bandaged her face with pieces of cloth from my shirt to conceal any traces I could have left behind. Frances Brown, with Frances, a 32-year-old woman, I employed a similar approach as with Josephine, but I added a more brutal measure. I shot her and then stabbed her with a knife. A rather gruesome act, but I performed it with an unimaginable coldness. I left a message written with lipstick on the mirror of the bathroom, a trace I knew would lead to me, but I could not restrain myself. Suzanne Degman, with Suzanne, a mere six-year-old girl, I kidnapped her from her home. I did this with a coldness that I myself could not understand. Parts of her body were found scattered in drains near the house. The brutality and savagery of this act revealed the darkest side of me. The hell in which I live is not just a place full of blazing red fire, but also loneliness, remorse, and incessant self-reproach. And then, on an unexpected day, in the most desperate moment of my life, he came. William, the Lord said, gentle yet powerful, your heart is full of regret and ready to seek forgiveness. Look deep into your heart and understand that, no matter what sins you have committed, my love is still for you. His words were like a beam of light illuminating the darkness in my soul. I realized I was not alone. I saw that there was a chance for redemption, for me to face my sins and apologize to those I had hurt. Josephine Ross, Francis Brown, Suzanne Degnan, I am sorry. I am sorry for what I have done, and I apologize to your families and loved ones. I know my apologies cannot erase what happened, but I hope it can bring some comfort to you all. To those living in sin, as I once did, I advise you, stop. Do not walk this path. Otherwise, you will fall into hell where I am suffering. If you do not turn yourself into the power of law, then I, the spirit from hell, will make you feel the pain you have inflicted on others. I have to go now. I, the weak soul from hell, have told you my life story. I hope that through my story, you will learn how to stay away from the path of sin. I bid you goodbye, and remember, everyone has the opportunity for redemption, as long as you are willing to change.